Uh, Marco Peach is right. It's generally considered even. Sauco wins in neutral, Peach wins in punish. And I feel like. I don't know. I feel like just from playing these two players, the play styles that I can feel out from them, I feel like Kaiser just kind of has this. I don't see how Cap could really take it, but we'll see. I always have faith. played Kaiser I thought the yawn was like a special offense to me as in like oh this person's so easy you can just sleep on them uh, but it's absolutely not they just run it at everything so it's kind of like you know I don't know hello yellow would you like to come on comms everyone welcome yellow onto hello. the stream how are you going pretty good it's pretty trippy for the first time hearing the voices through the headphones. Huh? Oh, I'm up again? Oh, yeah. oh wait, up fuck. Already. My bad. Oh, see ya. Alright, see ya. <laughs> Alright, the game immediately starts with like 20% worth of lasers into Falco almost just dying. Yep. Ooh, alright, what do you get out of this? Not quite. How you going, Scalpy? Going on. All right. Pretty standard game so far. It's um, I'm pretty <laughs> like the first game started off with just kinds of lasering for like 30 percent. Oh, <laughs> it was like just beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it's the matchup being played out to the logical conclusion. <laughs> What's uh? Is it has there been a game already? Or? There has not been a game already. Oh, this, this is game, is game one. one. Oh my god. Falco might be dead. Yeah. Um, oh. All right. Oh. oh, beautiful game. Mm. Yeah, Peach is kind of hard to combo like that, where she just has this kind of weight where that those kind of down air, it's not like Mark where you can get those kind of down air yeah. follow-ups. She just gets that hit stun too early. <laughs> she's got that like, kind of... Like, she's like floaty, but she's not like... Like, Marth and Sheik are fun, you can kind of like extrapolate the punish game across a bit, like it transfers a little. Yeah. Fox and Falco, same thing. Like, Peach doesn't... I don't know if there's anyone who's got like the same characteristics as Peach. It's like an easy analog to combo. Yeah. It always reminds me of... I was watching a Sage Jam video, and I think it was talking about how... And a lot of... That was a really dominant game mode, but anyway. Yeah, high scary. Yeah. In the uh, Sage Jam video, he was talking about how in a lot of older games it's kind of like, oh yeah, the you'll have the floaty combo, but there'll only be like three floaties in the game and it won't work <laughs> against one of them. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I was just like, yeah, that's right. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Kai puts himself into the bin. Yeah. Oh, it happens. <laughs> that's the spacey tags coming that's through. That's a really nice shorten. Um, yeah, Catherine doesn't have a ledge much, but uh, yeah. I can understand why sometimes. At least in friendlies. Uh, sorry? I can understand why sometimes. Like, it's especially Falco, like, if he snaps side B's and you just fall into the abyss, it does feel terrible. Yeah, but I feel like it's just. I don't know, there's a flowchart, and you know, people develop their own flowcharts just by playing, but a lot of the time there's just an optimal flowchart that has been found that's objectively <laughs> the best, and it's like, yeah. there's no reason to reinvent the wheel when there's something that, you know, maybe is harder to execute, maybe is like, covers a different three, you know, like with yeah. Tete's options, where it's just like, you can do this thing that covers 50% of the options, or the other thing that covers 50%, <laughs> yeah. and one of them's harder to execute than the other. So you should go for the yeah, hard so it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like a lot of the time people will default to the easier one, even on the harder one, is just like what you should be going for in that situation. Mm. I think the classic example is when it's just like a tech chase scenario where they hit close to the ledge such that if they 
like, uh, if they roll away, their distance gets cut off by the ledge. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So it's like, you can, there's very often times where you have to go for, like, the three, uh, three out of four options versus the roll-in. Yeah. And that's the mix. And it's like, people still default to the regular, like, either covering tech in place, miss tech, or the tech rolls. Yeah. But it's just that situational awareness that you have to get through. It's so hard, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. But it's just, I don't know. It's one of those things, like, Falcon should always, in that exact situation, where you down throw and they like, tech into the corner and they're in that sort of mix up your spot, you can actually, like, teeter cancel, knee, pivot grab, and you cover like, everything, I think. I think it's actually like four out of four. It's fun. Yeah. Absolutely. But there's like, you, you don't think about it until you're in that situation and then you're like, oh wait, hold on, that was a bad idea. Like, I, I wasn't ready to do this or... Uh, game is hard. By the way, Kaiser died on his la last stop. He was just paying from, taxes, man. From lasering the wrong direction, which makes me think. <laughs> Is the control of the problem? Is there a little bit of snapback going on? So I'm just watching now. We'll see if it comes up again, but there might be a bit of snapback in that punch. Oh, yeah. but that's game two. Irrelevant, because Kai just does this. Oh, I don't know. There's always little things like that, especially when you're on punch, where it's just like, well, is it snapping back? Is it not? <laughs> you get gaslit by your controller a little bit. Yeah, uh, yeah well, I don't we know. don't. As much. <laughs> yeah, because we're on Fox. I don't know, I've been trying to learn the game a little bit on, like, because I have a conch at my home. It's just like I've been trying to, like, at least be able to use it a little bit. Yeah, in case someone starts least... talking shit. Like... Well, yeah, but it's also to just, like, not only character empathy, but just, like, you know, having, uh, understanding, like, the technical issues other players go through. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, that conch is just, like, it can't shield drop in one direction. It has like uh, snapback sometimes. But so it's, it's like, OEM. Yeah, it is. But yeah, those kind of things it's just like hard to fix. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, and also whenever you shield drop even in the right direction, you have to press it really hard if you press it too soft. <laughs> That's one thing where it's like uh, some conches I've found that in order to shield drop on them, you need to be really light. Others you need to be really uh, hard into it. Yeah. Yeah. Mine's on. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm getting fobs soon. I've got the boards ordered, I just gotta wait and then build them. Um, I've got two sticks in mine from like, i got like six controllers in my own <laughs> gut for them. I'm very excited to have a, like, have a good controller. Oh my, oh, beautiful combo. That's interesting, because I like, I think in nine out of 10 times, there I'd bet that he'd go for the off the ceiling kill. Mm. I really likes to just sort of escort them up into the pearly gates. Like he loves the, you know, loves going for the up air off the edge. Loves going for the shine kills. Interesting to see him refrain there and go for down air. Yeah, very interesting to watch guys. Uh, kind of the way that they edge guard Peach, because it's relatively similar on Fox. Of course, like the falling speeds and whatever. But the basic mind games of I'm going to jump up and back air. You actually know I'm going to fall back down. <laughs> is yeah. very similar. But, yeah, nice combo. Ooh. Oh, he's cooking. Oh, he's cooking. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was a read on the roll away because, like, if you're just in run there, I don't know if that's reactable. Yeah. I think Ooh. it would have been. I think this is the point in the game where, like, Kai's feeling pretty comfortable about some of Kat's habits. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, where? Oh. That? that was not. Who? What? <laughs> I don't know how that works. <laughs> Write that down. Write that down. <laughs> yeah. It might have been like the intangible leggies with the, the hitbox coming out. I'm just trying to think if it... Actually, no, it couldn't have been an air-to-ground transition because you would have been put into knockdown. Well, Falco's like, you know how his legs go intangible. Yeah. It might have been like dipping under and like getting hit by one. I don't know. That was... Oh my god. Hi. Oh, the war pass. Jeez. Well, that was a shellacking. That was As crazy. they say in the business. Is it? Is that what we say? Yeah, sh a shellacking. A shellacking. Well, I'm pretty sure I work in the boat making industry, that's why <laughs> I say that. Is shellacking a boat making thing? I'm I don't know, you just started saying it. <laughs> I'm just here for the ride. Alright. Oh, jeez. 